You are no sleepy loser. You're an astronaut. I love you. I love you. It's a tale as old as time. Enemies. I'm not your friend. To lovers. You're pretty. You are pretty. I'm sure you're picking up on what we're putting down here. It's time for Bay or Nay, the series where we see which knit couples would have been the perfect match or a complete disaster. That's a really good idea. This time on Bay or Nay, we're cupping Tori and Jade. Jory, Jory, Jory. Don't act like you haven't already shipped Tori and Jade. From the fun bickering to the way they look at each other, Jory has been on our radar for a long time. Let's see how these two would have fared as an actual couple. Yeah, no thanks, I really appreciate your input on that. Let's go ahead and break this down. We've got a million reasons why Jade and Tori would make a great couple. But let's start with the obvious. This has enemies to lovers written all over it. Jane Austen would have lived for this. What's the prob? Dog. Jade was instantly annoyed and jealous of Tori the moment she met her. We thought for sure they would never be friends. And that's why we never say never on Rewind. Because it wasn't long before Jade was feeling guilty for all her actions. You can't be nice to me when I've been mean to you. That's not how it works. Well, then try being nice to me sometime. Maybe that'll work. Even though Jade continued to swear Tori and her weren't friends, we started to see a softness unfold in Jade. It was a quality that Tori brought out in her. Which brings us to the next reason why Jory would be perfect. This is supposed to be your night. This was your big chance, so for me to go out there and... And... I can't do that to a friend. So you got past the gorilla? Well, no. I didn't do the gorilla thing. But I used the bathroom there. Sitting down? I might have hovered. I know it might have looked like Jade was rooting for the gorilla there. Come on, gorilla! But we all know in reality, Jade was helping Tori step out of her comfort zone and take risks like Jade always does. I'm gonna count to 10, and then I'm gonna... Yeah! Not only do Jade and Tori bring out the best in each other, but when things get tough, they can rely on one another for support. You know what, it was wrong for me to come here. You're probably really busy and I shouldn't... What's going on? <sighs> My mom, she... They might put her in jail. Come in, come in. <laughs> so what's my gift? An idea for a present to give to Andre. You have an idea? A perfect one. Awesome. I want Beck back. <laughs> but you broke up with Beck. I know. Just like when I was seven and I threw away my potato patch pal, but then I realized I wanted him back. But it was too late because my mother already gave it away to some greedy orphans. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 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 I'll talk to Beck. It's just a dumb H. Well, maybe there's another pint. No, there's not. That was the only funky nut blast. Ah! Sorry. Sorry. And speaking of support, it kind of seems like Jade and Tori are each other's biggest fans. It may be subtle, but Tori and Jade work really well together. Sometimes it's hard to see past all the bickering, but even then, these two fight like a couple. No, I got it. No, it's my it's story. Story. It it it's my story. Awesome French fries today. Can I have a fry? You want to get slapped with a sausage? Sure. No! Thank you, but I'd really rather <laughs> not <laughs> be... Remember the deal with Psychowitz. I don't... You, know, you have to do it. Yes! Yes! 
Yes. I will be in the next scene. Wonderful. <laughs> Can she be in it too? Oh, and we haven't even mentioned the fact that Tori and Jade have been married twice. Yeah, you heard us. They even had a kid together. Hey! I am so honking happy that we got married and then had this cute little baby! Ditto to that! I tell you this, nothing on this planet warms my cockles more than looking at this magical pile of baby right there. Honey, wake up. Blast off! No. No, you were saying I'm so... Oh, right. You're so good, gentle. How can you love a sleepy loser like me? Jade isn't the easiest human to get along with, but isn't it kind of odd that she picks on Tori the most? How does the saying go, we pick on the people we like? Well, we might have made that up, but the point still stands. Well, hello, boys. My name is Tori Vega. Buy me some licorice and I'll give you a kiss. Only the people who have fun the letters get to come. Nothing to worry about. Oh, that's swell news. Who, me? Well, I would never hurt my dear sister Trina. Not me, sweet Sally Peaches. You're ever so welcome. I don't talk like that. I remember the saying now. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. That's totally what we meant. Oh, right. Regardless, Jade almost seems to have a schoolgirl crush on Tori. Not to mention the only person Jade even allowed to touch her besides Beck was Tori. If you don't take your hands off me in the next two seconds, you won't have hands. Come on, give Tori a squeeze. Thank you, Jade. Never touch me. You gotta give me a hug. <laughs> no, just do it. And to really top all this off, we can't forget that Tori and Jade went on an excellent date. It was here that we saw Jory's true potential, and even got to witness how well they work together as a unit. Guys, we really want to hang out alone. We are alone. Just the four of us. <gasps> Bajoink! Oh, oh my god. god. One. Get your hands up the two, or I'll punch you in the Stop your staring at my hey. Take a hit, take a hit. I am not your missing link. Let me tell you what I think. I think you could use a mint. Take a hint, take a hand. Oh, we took the hint. The hint has absolutely been taken. We know not everyone is going to agree that Tori and Jade are meant to be. And that's okay. But Jory would have conquered the world. Just saying. Head on down to the comments and let us know what you think. Jade and Tori. Bay or nay? Uh oh, I think it's the Jingle Bunny Twins! <laughs>